I might have to step away for about 10 minutes, but I will be back. Okay, so um, this is our September 27th director call, so welcome everyone. Um, so as always, I would like to start with just a couple minutes of good news um, or anything that you've been doing that you're excited about, um, anything you tried and that worked out. So who has some good news to share? Well, I did the live video the other night, and from that, as this morning when I looked, I've sold six popcorn makers, six sets of emoji cookie cutters, a bar pan, and a set of measuring spoons. And that was your first time going live, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I'm going to do um, a homemade pumpkin pie smell and making it in the ticket out of the oven and time it with the whipped cream maker demo. And hopefully that will generate some sales too. Okay. And you, and you know, my, I, have to, I have to say you worked smarter too because you, you, while you were doing it, you brought on your team members and had them go live. So now you, you know, did multiple things at one time. That's awesome. Thank you. And my newest member that joined, um, Melinda, Mindy, she, um, her and I can't coordinate to meet until tomorrow night because of work schedule, but we're going to go tomorrow night. So at least she'll have stuff going for October. She won't be able to get probably anything in for September unless she does a big boom, but at least it's a start. I mean, cause I think she's going to be like a hobbyist, but, um, she's excited about it. She really liked the live video. So I think that helped generate that too. So. Awesome. I'm going to put you on mute for a minute. My line's ringing. I'm sorry. Okay. No worries. All right. Who else got good news? Alyssa or Liz or Bree, do you have any good news? Anything happening that you want to share? Well, I did that. I sent everybody that message and I did post it on, um, in a comment or something that you had posted, but I sent everybody who I've not ever talked to about Paper Chef on my friends list. Um, regardless if they were green dot or not, but I sent them all a message and I, it was a big long list. I'd say about 40, 50 people maybe on the list. I don't know, but I got 18 parties booked from it. Oh my God. That is amazing. So the things we can do, right? When we when we actually sit down and work, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when we sit down and work and we don't have distractions. And um, and that brings me to, if you guys have not seen it, it's called The One. I think Donna posted it's a book. Um, and I don't read because I'll fall asleep if I read. But I've, I did the audio version. And basically, it's, it kind of goes of that, you know, concentrate on one thing. Don't try and multitask. There's nobody that's good at multitasking. It doesn't help you at all. Focus on that one thing that you need to work on. Um, and that whole book is kind of like that. So um, awesome, awesome. Yay. Liz, um, I know you have a migraine, but do you have something to share? If not, that's okay. Um, just that... Just that my October is looking super fierce. Um, I'm really excited about it because even after we talked yesterday, Claudia, I added another cooking show. Amazing. Um, You're going to give me a run for my money next month. Huh? You're going to give me a run for my money next month. <laughs> I hope so. I could use the money. Um, I know because you need to buy a plane ticket here. I know. Um, I think I'm at like 15 or 16 shows now. Um, two of those are virtual and one is a vendor event. But otherwise, they're all cooking shows. So 13 cooking shows for October. Holy yeah. guacamole. Dang. Damn. So make sure you work smarter, not harder. Do all your host coaching at once or in two batches. Do the same recipe if you can. Leave your stuff in the car. Do your dishes there. You know, uh, bring your laptop, put yeah. orders in right then and there. Yes. All except two of the cooking shows are fajita shows. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Good. I can't wait to see the results and follow ups. And I mean, wow, that's awesome. Um, Bree, what about you? Do you have any good news? Um, well, not compared to Liz, geez Louise. I know. Uh, it's hard to come back up with that. <laughs> I should have went before her. Um, so we're going to be green because I have a show in my pocket that I'm going to use 
if I need to. Um, that'll help me with my vendor events. It's all like I decided to purchase all the pantry items for freezer meal workshops for all of the very popular menus so that I could have them on hand for vendor events. So that's in my pocket. Um, that's smart. I do have a couple more orders coming in for September. And then I have eight shows booked for October and I think four for November so far. So yeah. I felt good about that. I feel like a super slack to the 18 and 18 cooking shows and Jesus. But you know what? We always need a little friendly competition. We always need someone to one up us. Oh my God, Jax, you're so okay. cute. <laughs> oh yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yay. Um, okay. So, um, okay. So let's talk just real quick about the incentives that are going on in case you are missing it or you're not quite sure what's happening. Um, so of course, if you're local, we have the dining with the stars. So make sure you have three more days to earn it to see if you're on track or not. Um, and then we have our first time cooking on all four burners so this month you know just check if you're closed or if you know if i don't want you to miss it by like one thing so 2500 in personal sales um which i know lots of you are over that or even really close one personal recruit for yourself one team recruit because we want to teach you to teach others to recruit as well and then being green is a director team and when you do that you get a $25 gift card for me and because we like gift cards we're giving away another gift card um, so if you did if you saw it and maybe you didn't quite get it um, we have a hundred dollar Amazon gift card giveaway when we are green as an executive team so anyone that participates and anyone that's green we need six first generation two second generation and if you're part of a green director and we um, qualify as an executive team then I will do a drawing for a hundred dollar gift card if we're green again next month, it'll be $200 gift cards. Green third month, $300 gift cards, up to 500. Um, up to five $100 gift cards. If we miss it one month, then we go back to 100. Okay, and the chances are pretty big because right now I think we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So we have 11 directors, not all of them are always green, um, which we're working on because we all want to get paid for our title, right? And what we've worked hard for. Um, then your chances are actually pretty good, I would say. Um, okay, so what I want to know real quick is who has, and I wish Lori was on um, because I know she's been doing it, and I don't know who, if you guys have been doing it or not, so you tell me, um, what's your experience been with doing the strong, card, strong start calls? Whether it's the strong start calls or going by um, what Paper Chef just posted in the PC University, um, how to get consultants off to a good start. Has anyone done strong start calls? I have. Okay, what's your experience look like? Uh, so far, I think it's pretty good. Um, I did it with my new girl, and she's rocking and rolling. She's awesome. Okay. Um, yay, Terry! Hi. Wow. Um, okay. Has anyone else done strong start calls and wants to share their experience? I know Terry, you just came on, but you came on at the perfect time because <laughs> I know you've been doing them. Um. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Um. Yeah, I've I've been doing them. I don't know if Oh yeah, this is a, this is the moment. It's okay. um, I don't know if I have been doing them <laughs> very well, <laughs> but at least I mean they are definitely doing something for my team members. If anything, they're just giving them ideas or a boost or encouragement that I wasn't giving before. So for me, I felt like it was um, it was just a, a, a director script, <laughs> essentially, on on how to help your team because you know we've all been there. Your brand new baby consultant, and you're like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I think that was just it was really good to just kind of brainstorm with all of them and encourage them and let them know, hey. Right now is really hard because you have no momentum. You're starting from ground zero, um, but this is what you do to get 
up off the bench and um, and start that momentum. So, I mean, I I feel like I start strong on the Strong Start program, but uh, I haven't yet been able to um, finish strong, I guess. <laughs> and I'm still kind of in the process, but uh, I it's it's hard when they're not getting the bookings and they're not able because of circumstances to you know achieve those 24 hour goals that you set but i mean you just keep going and keep setting new goals i mean that's what we all do so yeah and you know if you're giving them the 24 48 hour challenge to go out and book shows and then you're ready for the next call and they don't have any shows then we just got to go back to who are we going to ask what are we going to do because there's no reason to talk about host coaching there's no reason to talk about the show experience unless we have bookings so we just kind of keep hitting the same thing until we have some bookings to get them started out with um has anyone else done them or tried them out um, it's been a while since I had a new consultant of my own to try them on, but right when, um, back in May, when uh, Bree was bringing on her team uh, to get her amazing promotion, um, that's what we started doing with them, because I had learned about it yeah. at least. And it helped uh, a lot with them. Do what? I think it really helped Jackie and Nicole. I mean, I agree. And it got them um, off to a good start. I don't know if it continued to give them a good start, though, well, with these guys because the bookings. Um, but I do, I do think that it helped me be more consistent in what I was teaching people and how I was coaching them um, and not only that but it's easy to um, it's repeatable so like you know we did three or four of those like three I think with um, with three new team members while Bree was uh, qualifying for promotion and because she saw that and it's such a repeatable process that as soon as she was director, she was, she said she felt comfortable doing them. Um, where um, I know that I needed a lot more coaching from Claudia beforehand because there wasn't like a formula for it. So. Correct. I think that's the keys. There's an outline. You follow it accordingly, depending on the person. Like I've had some people that were just overwhelmed with like the first half of the call. So I kind of stopped it and just went back to basics and, you know, made sure to launch party and we'll do step by step. So you do kind of have to depend it on that person. Um, but I think as long as you are communicating with them every week and you're setting up these calls, um, as long as they're communicating with you, they're willing to work, they're willing to try things. Um, I think that's the ultimate goal, you know, at least until they do 1250 and at least until, you know, they've gotten some parties down and then you can maybe continue every other week or something like that. Um, but if you are worried about the time investment, I think, you know, if you're bringing on a new team member, I think we owe it to them to get them off to a good start because we know so many times people come to us and they're like, oh yeah, last time I did this, I had no support and stuff like that. So they can't do it by themselves. They can't come off by themselves to a good start. So if we're bringing them on, then it's our responsibility to get them off to a good start and you'll be rewarded with trip points and paper chip dollars and stuff like that. And a new team member that brings in sales. Um, so well, it's, I think such a formula, um, it doesn't necessarily have to sound formula when you're speaking with them because it can be customized, but you know, if it is someone that gets easily overwhelmed and you do stop, you know, you only get halfway through the call or something like that, that, um, you know, it's easy to know exactly where to pick up again. You know, you're not having to think back, okay, what did we discuss last time? Uh, what all, you know, it just, 
Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so I just encourage you guys, if you have not tried it, to try it. And don't, figure, don't think about having to figure out all six calls. Just send out the welcome email as soon as they join. Set up a time to call and do the first call. And just do it and just you know read through it before you do the call and then literally i mean sometimes i just read the total script because it sounds great um i add a couple m's and, and then it's you know it doesn't sound like i'm reading from a script so um i just encourage you all to try it if you don't feel comfortable with that and you want me um or your upline director to lead the first call or maybe do a example call with you you know we could do that as well and just test it, you know, do a test run. But I just encourage you to do it um, and try it out. Which also brings me to talking about fast track. Um, so I just got off the phone with Donna and the other girls that, you know how Donna's doing these departments, right? So if you were on the call yesterday, um, if you weren't on the call, basically um, every director that wants to in the Landy organization, our organization is going to volunteer to pick one or two departments that they put in either a department where they're, they're they feel strong about or either a department where they don't feel strong about and they want to learn more and basically what that means is instead of me and you right as a director having to work worry about uh, things for bookings for your team, things for sales for your team, teaching them how to recruit, uh, finding that next director, finding a fast track person, um, finding incentives to you know get your team excited you now focus on two areas of this business but when you need something else there's all these other groups that you can say hey my team really needs a recruiting um team event do you guys have an outline or are you planning on doing one this month and then your team just tag, tags right along um so i i believe that it's not going to take any extra time from you i think it's actually going to um, stress you out less instead of having to worry about everything and then now that means that your team has access to a well-rounded base of um, other directors that are going to run things for our entire organization. Does that make sense or do you guys have questions about that? Was want to call yesterday rec recorded? Uh, yes, she posted it on the leaders page. Okay. Um, I want to go back and listen to that and then I'll see if I still have questions. Okay. And it also gives you a chance to um, brainstorm with other directors that maybe you haven't worked with before. And, you know, between five directors, we can come up with amazing things, which we, I just got off the call. Um, I'm part of the developing leader program you know, with those people and just, you know, I had ideas, they had ideas and I just by combining them, I think we came up with a great program. And I want to tell you guys that because I'm supposed to work on that today, but since we're having this call, um, I'll give you the heads up. So basically we are going to have two different groups. We're going to have a fast track director group and a developing director group. Um, so if you have someone that wants to promote your director, if they're fast track, they go in that group. If they're, you know, no fast track anymore, they go in the other group. Um, and the way it's going to work is I'll post the ground rules and everything, but basically they they come in this group October 1st um, with the mindset of promoting that month. So it's basically a 30 day training to promote to director. Of course, if they need longer and they're participating and they're doing the homework and they're listening to the calls, then they can stay in the group. But if you have someone that says they want to be a director and they're not, you know, listening to the training call, they're not participating in challenges, or they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, then we tell them that we have to remove them from the group. And when they're ready to work their steps, then they get back into the group. Um, we're going to have weekly calls led by those people that are in this developing leaders group um, for the new upcoming new directors. So what I, and I'm going to post it on our team page too, but I'm not going to post it on our big page. I want everyone to be responsible for their own personal team. So if you find, if you, once I post the invite, if you want to share it with your personal team and reach out to your personal team and say, Hey, we're starting this new round October 1st. Um, do you want to talk about what directorship could mean for you and your family? You know, is that something you want to work towards to? Then we have a training that starts October 1st. 
okay? So do you see how now we have all these buckets or all these departments where you don't have to worry about all of them? I'm just gonna focus myself on this developing leaders group, but if, if like we need an opportunity event to recruit, then there's another group that's gonna run that. So does that make sense to you guys that we now don't have to do everything? Does that like click? Okay, I just want to make sure. I don't want you guys to think this is actually more work because I truly believe it's not. I think by us focusing on one area or two areas and putting our strengths together, this whole organization can explode. So everyone's going to benefit from it. Make sense? Okay. Um, so I'll share... I'll share the rules and I got to set up the groups and everything like that. Um, so we have ground rules for the people that are joining this group, but we also have ground rules for directors, like your responsibility. If you have someone in that group, you should be doing weekly calls with them. And again, if you need help and you don't know what to do during those calls, then I can do them with you so you can kind of learn right along as well. But you can't just expect to put someone in that group and then not talk to them for 30 days and expect them to promote to director because we've all been there. We know that we never promoted by ourselves. So we know how important that support system is. Um, okay. So any questions about that director program? Are you guys excited that we, we have something starting again this fall? Yes. Okay. So lots of you are going to get the first director. I hope. <laughs> um, um, it, it, I will. <laughs> You will. There you go. That's my girl. <laughs> um, okay, so we. Uh, I would like to continue with the four live live um, videos on Facebook. So, like yesterday, I went live for the party, right at the party. Um, so, and we said we're going to stick to Monday, so we can advertise that every Monday at some time, the director is going to go live about recruiting, bookings, house coaching, and at the party, um, just for like you know 10, 15 minutes to share what they do and what works for them or you could even listen to a training call and then go over what you learned on the training call so however you want to do it there's no set ground rules but i think it's very important for that big team page to always have the current most important things on there so with that being said we have um monday so we have do we have four mondays in october did i just do that wrong oops uh 3, 10, 17, 24, or the 31st. That's Halloween, though. There's five. There's five Mondays. I know, but that's the 31st is Halloween, so we can just skip that one, right? Sure. Okay. So I have um, the 3rd, the 10th, the 17th, and the 24th, and I need volunteers for recruiting, bookings, host coaching, and what to do at a party. Um, and I think we could even, you know, if you're more of a virtual person, instead of doing a cooking show outline, you could even talk about what to do, you know, do's for a virtual party too. Um, so any volunteers for any topic? I'll take booking on the 10th. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I just wanted to get that in. I have limited availability. That's now. okay. No. I can either do the 17th or the 24th, and I really don't care. We, okay. Um, how about you do, I don't know, what do you want to do? Do you feel like you, do you want to listen to some recruiting training? Would that be beneficial for you right now? Yeah. So, yeah? Okay. So why don't you do recruiting on the 17th? Okay. And that's any time, right? Any time. Okay. Um, I mean, if you know when you're going to do it, like if you know you're doing it at 8.30 that night, just feel free to post so you have more people on. Well, that's recipe night. Oh, so you don't want to do that. Um, so let's do the 24th. Okay. Right? So recruiting 24th of October, Melissa. Um, so then I just need the third... The third and the third is our virtual meeting, by the way, but that's okay. You can just do it earlier. Um, the third and the tenth. Any volunteers? Or I can ask on our director page. Host coaching and add a party. Either cooking show or virtual, October 3rd or October 10th. Any takers? Don't be scared of Facebook Live. It's not that hard. <laughs> I thought Liz was doing the tenth. Oh, yeah. So, excuse me, the 17th or the third. That's what's left. Are we 
are we doing one on recipe night or are we going to go live on recipe night? Well, the problem I have with going live on recipe night, I've noticed is that if it's not me, <laughs> then other people are scared and I feel like they're freezing up and they're not giving us their full potential because they're a little scared of being live. So it just kind of depends on who's doing it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Any other volunteers host coaching or at a party October 3rd or 17th? Yes, no? One, two, three? Okay. We're moving on. <laughs> um, so let's talk about the team meeting. So our virtual team meeting is October 3rd. And if you're local, our local team meeting is October 4th. Um, so our agenda is always, you know, the basics are always the same. I just need to know which director that's not local is going to be able to be on the virtual meeting so I can see, you know, who wants to do what part. So who's on right now that's not local to me that is going, that knows they're going to be on on October 3rd for our virtual meeting? Liz, did you just raise your hand? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if I saw the right. Okay. Um, and then I know Bree and Jody are local. So, um, okay. And then what should we train on this time? So uh, last time we talked about bookings and networking. Um, I mean, I'm still a big believer in bookings because if they don't have bookings, they can't do anything. But what should we talk about? Host coaching, party, follow-up, recruiting, um, or anything else that you think is hot that they need to know for our October 4th meeting. What do you think your team needs? Could we talk about, um, and let me know if you think this is a good idea, but um, like holiday vendor events? or in how to use those to maximize not only the rest of this year, but to get a strong start into 2017. Um, okay. Because I know that I have someone moving here by the end of the month, and she had participated in a couple vendor events with me but she's nervous about doing them on her own and but it's okay. a big event season so i think a lot of people could use yeah that's a good tip yeah i think it's a great idea because i noticed that i usually take a lot of the same things depending i mean regardless of whatever season it is and i need to spice it up to where it's season, you know what I mean? Like I take the apple core peeler or the pie things, you know, during seasonal. And I've never done that. I just always every time. Okay, and then we should definitely talk about the new holiday products. How to market and sell those, right? And also I think with the vendor events, I've noticed is being interactive as far as doing a demo because that brings a lot of attention. Okay. Yeah, no, definitely. I always like to use, even if you just bring the food shop and you make noise and people are like, Oh, what's going on over there? You know? Um, okay. Any other things that you want from this team meeting? Any things that you or your team might need? And that's local too, you know, because we always do the same topic. Um, uh, probably about getting holiday recruits because, you know, a lot of time the holiday recruits are... Um, holiday consultants. Gone. Yeah, because now it's the time, right? People need extra money. Yep. Okay. Um... Okay, and I'll outline it and see if there's anything else I can add to it. Um, and I'll see who else can be on, and then I'll ask the local directors to do their part as well. Um, okay, so, all right, yeah, so that 
concludes my agenda. Um, is there anything else you guys want to talk about, discuss? Um, do you need help with? Everyone safe? Everyone going to be green? <laughs> so, and yeah, I posted that, you know, like we need to encourage each other. So if you see someone struggling and if you see someone, um, you know, maybe you haven't heard from a person or you haven't seen that person all month, like reach out to them and let's, you know, rally up because we all can come up with a lot of things. So I think by putting our heads together, everyone can be green. I know I need help. All right, well, call me. You're supposed to be here, so I can kick your butt. <laughs> I no, should I stop the recording. Hold on. <laughs> I've got lots and lots.